Hi guys, thanks very much for logging on. Today we're going to have a look at the Achilles tendon um, from the origin all the way up to the myotendinous junction and the basic images you should take. Hi guys, Achilles tendon. Nice and easy, patient prone, leg extended, toes bent up if the patient's able to, straightens out the Achilles tendon for us to get good visibility. Starting in longitudinal section, probe placed directly onto the calcaneum. So we can see here the insertion of the Achilles. This is the calcaneum. Little fat pad and then the longitudinal section of the Achilles tendon all the way up. Always goes a little bit thicker and darker as we leave the calcaneum. This is the belly of the Achilles. And we scan all the way up to the myotendinous junction into the gastrocnemius muscle. Nice and slowly, nice and methodically, scan from side to side, make sure there's no foreign bodies, no swelling, no cysts. Make sure everything looks okay in grayscale. The next thing to do is a transverse section, starting again at the calcaneum. Transverse section, so we've got the calcaneum here, sliding up to the insertion. And we can see there's the nice, normal looking Achilles tendon, all the way up. Scanning through, beautiful resolution, all the way up, down through the Achilles. This is the, the muscular component, and this is the actual tendon, all the way up until the tendon disappears, and all we have left is the muscle. I think you'll agree, a normal Achilles, always the easiest thing to do, normals. It's when you find the abnormals, you need to know what you're looking at. So if you find an area of interest, I mean not that I am on this particular tendon, but if you do, you want to put the colour on. You want to see the vascularity, any hyperemia. So we can either use the colour flow, And you can see there's none there, so we turn up the gains. The idea with all colour Doppler is you turn up the colour gain until you get what's called the twinkle. Once you get the twinkle, just turn it back down so it just disappears. Then you know you're going to pick up any actual vascularity. If the flow is really, really slow, you can put on the power Doppler, which adds both the flow going away from the transducer and the flow going towards the transducer adds them together and gives you a much more sensitive reading. So no hyperemia here. So here's an example of a tendinopathic Achilles. You can see the normal tissue and normal tendon and then we've got focal thickening and a loss in reflectivity coming down all the way down to here. So we've actually got tendinopathy. That'll help. So we've actually got tendinopathy over a distance of two centimeters with actual focal thickening at the top there. Always good to let the physios, podiatrists know how far from the insertion so they know where to do their treatment.